I think that moves us on to my absolute favorite, which is now clearly your favorite segment of the show, aesthetics. At certain times, I do enjoy aesthetics. <laughs> you, you've been, you've even brought up the last two aesthetics before I could even do it, I think. So you, you almost lost your mind last episode, at the end of oh. episode 103. Oh my God, in my Twitter feed. Like I can, and by the way, I can still see things on Twitter. I just, just can't, can't post, post anything right now. Well, that's a tragedy so. for the world that can't see your, your next post for some time yet, but I know it we'll, is try a to, we'll try to deal with it. I think I think you need to lead this one. If if we're if you're you gave us the cliffhanger last week when the Colorado Rockies unveiled their Nike City Connect uniforms while we were finishing up that recording, and you you pretty much lost your mind. Yeah, so uh, I'm uh, we're 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 closing out of this, and all of a sudden I was doing my my due diligence as I normally do, like I kind of scour to make sure. <laughs> Scour the scour the net real quick before Dude, we close out. I like that. To make sure that we didn't miss something, right? Like not not that we missed something, that something broke while we were on the air. Because yeah, we miss at, we miss lots. So like like doing this at night in the evening when games are going on and things are happening, something crazy may have happened, and we can comment it all, uh, almost in real time. You know? Yeah. Do you have a Cubs score, by the way? Uh, no, I don't pay attention yeah. to them. But uh, due diligence, I guess. <laughs> I'll do some due diligence right now because <laughs> I have MLB.com up. But um, the um, it's two nothing Cubs. No, oh, thank you. In, in the third, um, but these Rockies uniforms popped up in my feed, and I you had a tell- large reaction. Well, they're horrendous. <laughs> they are. They are. They are. They look. My, I'll tell you, Charlie's uh, Charlie's lightning uniform, which I'll be more than happy for presentation purposes for this podcast without a face in it. I'll I'll get you. I'll get you, Charlie. I'll get you, Charlie's. I'll get you, Charlie's lightning uniform if you want to do a side by side in in one of our posts. But his uniform is a thousand percent sharper than this Rocky Mountains green monstrosity of a <laughs> uniform, which I thought you might not mind because you're a Michigan state fan. So of course, oh, like oh, oh. you're not even freaking bothered by the disgustiness of this uniform with the mountain outline. I mean, I guess it's green too, maybe because of the, the, the marijuana thing there. Oh, but, there you go. But I mean, it, I just find it hideous. Well, I, I have to admit, uh, Forest green is one of my favorite colors that may or may not have to do with my affinity for Michigan state uh, growing up 10 miles down the road from the campus. And I currently reside 10 minutes down the road. Uh, Green and white is a fantastic color combination. Uh, Unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to kind of agree with you. Uh, I wouldn't quite call them a monstrosity. There are some issues though with, with this, this uh, new city connect Jersey for the Rockies. I think, I think again, we keep, we keep butting our heads up against this. It's not for us. It's for youngsters. It's to get people who aren't dyed in the wool baseball fans, potentially interested in baseball. Uh, It's it's for locals. It's not for, it's not for national consumption necessarily. True. True. It does capture the Rocky mountains, the, the evergreen, is, is the color they're going for the, the green mountains, the, the execution though, I think is, is where I have a problem. It, it is an odd look for a baseball team. That, that's where you and I are going to, are going to always agree upon, but we're, we're not going to agree that these things look good necessarily because it is a weird color. It is a weird thing with a white shoulder, like the white above the green mountains and the rest of the Jersey and pants are all green. Uh, it, it's just not a typical look. I, I thought they kind of, the first thing I thought of when I saw it was like the classic can of Bush light. Like if Bush light had a pine flavor, give me <laughs> pine flavored Bush light. Maybe they need to come out with an IPA. Well, it could be, maybe, maybe that's what they're going for eventually, but it, it just looked, it, it looks strange. I, what, the initial reaction is totally positive. Once again, like you and I thought the, the, Washington Nationals cherry blossom jerseys were horrific. And those were like the highest selling jerseys ever until the Houston Astros space cities came out and that blew, blew all records away by 
three times, I think. So clearly this is not for us. Um, I think your, your reaction is a little stronger than mine. I can see what they're doing. I didn't like the execution of it. Have you been to Colorado? I've yes. been to Colorado a lot, actually. So I have. It, those jerseys look like Colorado. So they captured what Colorado looks like. Um, you know, the, the evergreen, there's, there's lots of little details in it that have to do with, you know, hiking and fishing and everything else. So that, that is what that area is about. So I get what they're embracing. I just, I don't like the look. I don't like the hat. I don't even remember the, the logo is kind of fucked up on the hat. Um, do you have it up there? No, no, I, no, I just didn't couldn't. <laughs> uh... But it just, it's got, it's another one of the, the tricolor hats, you know, with the white, white front, which is kind of a, an homage to the seventies and eighties, which I don't really like that much. Um, so I think you'd give them two thumbs down. Oh my I probably... God. I didn't even, <laughs> I don't even think I really paid attention to the hat. The hat literally yeah. looks like, it looks like, it, you know what the hat looks like? It looks like a, um, uh, what is the name of that company? Uh, like, Apple. like, no, no, that does, uh, Microsoft that, that does, um, like camping gear and, and things like that. Oh crap. Coleman? It'll, it literally looks like their logo. All right. The you. color scheme and everything. You know what it reminds me of? Do you remember years ago when this was probably the first dabble into city connect? I have a giants uh, version of the hat and I had a white Sox one, but it got ruined where they were white. I have the, my Giants one is white and black, and it's got the bridge on it with the SF in it, which eventually mm. turned into what was kind of the City Connect jerseys. Yeah, but but they just a little did a more foggy. Of, but they did a yeah right. They did a series of caps like that. Yeah, I remember that. Like maybe like ten years ago or yeah. something like that. And and it may I, have been longer. I think that's when I was in. It was in California. I think I saw those when I was there. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, is that is that the mountains under the CO? Yeah, I'm not sure, but purple mountains of majesty. I think the mountains are purple, so for the Rockies uniform colors. Well, and that's that's where their real uniforms come from. That's why they're purple and black. Purple mountain, purple mountain majesty. I think is where they came up with those their original color scheme. So that that's. I mean, it was also a unique look at the time. There's no other purple teams in Major League Baseball, so that's why that that worked well. But. Yeah, I think I think you you would give these City Connect jerseys two thumbs down. I think I'd give one thumbs down. Maybe we we do need a rating system. I think maybe we'll go retroactively go back and talk about all these and put your rating and my rating together and figure this out. But yeah, I think I think overall we're gonna we're gonna give a negative review. But I believe the Los Angeles Angels are the next to have one revealed, so that might be coming up anytime. We we were blindsided as they at least I didn't see any kind of uh, announcement that these were going to be released. We were like, you were blindsided at the end of last episode. So maybe there's another announcement right now as, as we are recording about the LA angels, but we will keep you posted.